Cricketers, welcome back to another fun little Cricut tutorial. My name is Carrie. On my channel, I share all kinds of Cricut and laser engraving crafts, and I also have several videos discussing how I make money working from home with both of these machines. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Today, I'm going to be making myself a new shirt using a combination of Trans Wonder Puff Vinyl and regular heat transfer vinyl. I've been having so much fun with this new variety pack of puff vinyl that I got, I can't stop making myself new shirts. Trans Wonder is definitely the best kind of puff vinyl that I've used so far. It doesn't wrinkle up and it puffs up really nicely. If you're interested in purchasing some of this Trans Wonder puff vinyl, I have an exclusive coupon for 25% off select rolls in my video description. I've had excellent luck heating it at 300 degrees for 12 seconds. I designed these three SVGs, but I really can't decide which design I like best. I love them all. Let me know in the comments below, which design is your favorite? One, two, or three? My husband said number two is his favorite, so that's what I'm going to go with today. I'll leave a link down below in my video description if you're looking where to find this bundle that I made. I'll also include a list of all of the materials that you'll need to make this project down below in the video description. I'm using my Cricut Maker, but you can use any kind of Cricut machine, except for the Cricut Joy. Unfortunately, the Cricut Joy is just too small to cut out these designs. And you'll also need some shirts. Bella and Canvas is my favorite brand. They're soft and comfy and fit true to size. I bought mine from Michaels. Make sure you have their app downloaded on your phone and always check for coupons before you go. Trans Wonder is the brand of puff vinyl that I'm using, and for the regular HTV, I'm using Sizer Easy Weed. I like using two different types of vinyl with puff vinyl because then it makes the puff vinyl part really pop. You'll also need a heat press. I'm using my Vivor 15 by 15 inch swing away heat press. I wouldn't recommend an auto press, iron, or easy press when working with puff vinyl. You should really be using a real heat press. Puff vinyl has to be heated with high pressure for a precise amount of time. Otherwise, you'll end up with wrinkles or flat spots. With the auto heat presses, you can't adjust the pressure, so it's hard to get a strong enough pressure with those machines. You'll also need scissors or a trimmer to cut out your vinyl, a standard grip mat to stick your vinyl to, some basic weeding tools, a ruler, and a lint roller. Now let's move over to Cricut Design Space so we can design this shirt. So these are the three different files that I designed and I'm gonna make the one in the middle. So I can go ahead and delete three and one. And this is what I'm gonna be working with. The shirt that I bought is black, so I'm gonna change the canvas color to black. And zoom in a little bit. I wanna make this be the good part, be a different color. The hard part is figuring out which color I want it to be. I think I'm gonna make it be pink. So if I select here, the be the good is all grouped together as one piece. So then I can go over to color and make that be pink. I'm gonna leave the rest of this white. If I go to make this right now, my Cricut machine is gonna cut out all of these things in different pieces. So you'll see the circle is one piece and the words are all jumbled up. So I need to attach the things that I want to be white all in one piece. So first I'm gonna take the Be The Good and I'm gonna use this eye tool to hide it. All of this is gonna be cut out with regular white Sizer Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl. So I'm gonna highlight all of this and click Combine and Unite. And that will basically glue this all together. Then I can use the eye tool to bring this back. The pink will be cut out with puff vinyl. The white will be cut out with regular heat transfer vinyl. So now I just need to measure my shirt so I can figure out how big I wanna make this design. This is a size large shirt and I think nine inches would be a good size. So let's highlight this whole design and I'm gonna make the width be nine. So click nine and then enter. Now I can go over and click make it. Since both of these materials are heat transfer vinyls, we need to mirror them. So click mirror on both. The material settings are gonna be different for each of these though. So for this white layer, I'm gonna be using Everyday Iron-On. And for this pink layer, I need to change this to glitter. So if I click here and search browse, I can type in glitter, glitter iron-on, done. 
and then change the pressure to more. So this will be glitter. Uh, it changes this too. So we're just gonna have to change the setting as we go. So let's change this back to everyday iron on. We'll cut this one out. And then when we're done, we'll change the material on this one. Cricut automatically sets it so that your material here is the same as this one. But since we're using two different materials, we need to adjust it as we go. So I need a piece of vinyl that's nine and a half inches wide by eight inches long. Let's grab the trimmer and cut it out. Press a blinking double arrow to load the mat. And the blinking cricket button to begin the cut. Now we can unload our mat by pressing the blinking double arrow. And next we're going to cut out this pink piece. So right here it says it's set to everyday iron on. We need to change that. So click where it says everyday iron on and we're going to look for glitter. Select glitter iron on, done. Change the pressure to more and make sure it's mirror imaged, which it is because it's backwards. Now I'm going to stick my pink puff heat transfer vinyl to the upper left hand corner of my Cricut mat and begin the cut. Hmm, which color should I go with? I think I'm going to go with this light pink. One side is shiny and one side is not shiny. Make sure you stick it with the shiny side facing down in the upper left hand corner. Just like before, we're going to load our mat. And begin the cut. Looks like it cut out great, so now let's weed our project. This puff vinyl is so easy to weed. It cuts out perfectly on the glitter HTV setting. So the first thing that we're gonna do is heat press our shirt for about 10 seconds to get rid of any moisture and wrinkles. Gotta loosen that pressure a little bit. Next, I wanna make sure that I place my design right in the center of the shirt. So one little trick that you can do is take your shirt and fold it in half. Line up the edges of the sleeves and the edges of the shirt, and then we're just gonna press this for like three seconds. Now 
Now when I unfold the shirt, there's a slight crease right down the middle so I can see where the center of the shirt is. Now what I'm gonna do is take my heat transfer vinyl and I'm gonna fold it in half and carefully pinch the top and the bottom of the carrier sheet. Not the vinyl itself, but just the carrier sheet. So then I can line up those pieces, those little folds with the center of the shirt. Right now the design is too high up. I need to lower it to be about three inches below the neckline. So right about there. Now I'm gonna cover this with a Teflon sheet and heat it for 10 seconds. While that cools for a moment, I'm gonna cut out this puff vinyl, some of the carrier sheet away, because I don't want it to overlap. This is gonna end up going here. Now let's line this up like that. Now I'm gonna heat press this for 12 seconds. Look how cute that looks. The puff vinyl puffed up so nicely. I love how it contrasts with the flat heat transfer vinyl. I really love how this shirt came out. I'm so picky when it comes to what I wear. I kind of hate everything that I find in the stores right now. That's why it's so awesome to be able to make all of my own clothes with my Cricut machine. Before we wrap up this video, I just wanna go over the washing instructions for puff vinyl. It's important that you follow the guidelines for washing the shirt so you don't ruin it. They recommend that you wait 24 hours before your first wash. Make sure you flip the shirt inside out and wash it in cold water. Use mild detergent and tumble dry low. If you've enjoyed this video and like this project, I'd love it if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my new fun Cricut projects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.